Hello and welcome to my tutorial on Robotino LiDAR operation and uh, an intro introduction to Robotino SLAM. So we're going to start um, by attaching our Hakuyo LiDAR to our Robotino uh, to, by, via one of the USB ports. Uh, after we've done that, you should see the light on top of the rope or on top of the lidar turn on, and you should hear some sounds of the motors working inside. From there, we want to launch our Robotino node. So we're going to do ROS launch Robotino node, Robotino node dot launch, host name colon equals, and then the host name of your Robotino. Oops, I entered the wrong window. All right. So there we go. It looks like everything started up fine. Uh, now we want to make sure that the LiDAR is actually broadcasting scan data. So we're going to do ROS topic echo scan. And we see that, and we can see that the scan data is streaming. Um, if you don't see scan data here, uh, I actually ran into this problem myself where if the LiDAR does not register as TTYACM0, uh, it will not broadcast scan data over your over your ROS node. Um, there's there's an easy way to fix that. Uh, in order to get it to register as TTYACM0, all you have to do is unplug all your other USB devices from your Robotino, and then re -enter, and then just plug in the ro or plug in the lidar before you plug in any other devices. That should get it to register as TTYACM0. Um, if you want a, a little more in depth, we can actually SSH into the Robotino. So SSH, we're going to enter as root, and then there's the IP address of the Robotino. The password is DORP6. Enter. OK. So we want to see the USB devices uh, plugged into our Robotino. So what we're going to do is LS L. slash dev slash tty capital A and then an asterisk and here you can see all our devices plugged in right now I only have the lidar plugged in so it's uh, it registers as ACM0 if I were to unplug the lidar well, actually let's go ahead and do that if I were to unplug the lidar and try that again you see there's no there's no device that I'm gonna plug it in again and Yep, it has showed up again. Great. So, we're done there. Um, but yeah, that's just a little bug that uh, took me a little while to figure out, but this should do it. All right, now, we've seen the raw scan data. Um, now we actually want to view it, and it would be nice to actually be able to see it in a graphical format. So what we're going to do is we're going to use... Uh, we're going to use RViz to visualize that data. So I'm going to do ROS run RViz RViz there we go, it's going to bring up the default RViz screen which is fine. So as our fixed frame let's select laser link and then you want to make sure that your laser scan topic is scan. Um, if you don't see this laser get scan drop down menu, you can click the add button and you can add your own laser scan there. But the important thing to make sure is uh, that all our reference frames are set to laser link and all your topics are set to scan. And now you can see the live laser feed. And as I rotate the LiDAR around, you can see the data updating. Alright, so everything is working there. It's going to ask me if I want to save. No, I don't, so we'll close without saving. And RViz is closed. Alright, great. Um, now I'm running Groovy on my system. So uh, another little bug that I ran into is 
uh, the the actual launch file for uh, for G mapping. So if you go into your if you go into your Groovy workspace, whatever you've named that, and you find your Robotino node package, you want to or you, you find your Robotino folder for your uh, ROS package. You want to go into Robotino navigation, into the launch files, and in here you'll find rviz.launch. We'll find that. And I actually had to comment out this line. Um, it looks like it should it should automatically do it when you try to run the launch file, but I have found that it doesn't. So uh, just a little hint there. We'll, uh, we'll comment that out. Okay, so we can close that. Uh, now let's start up G mapping. So we'll do ROS launch, Robotino navigation, that's the, that's the package that we want to launch, and then there's the launch file, which is gmapping.launch. So I will launch that. Okay. Now again, it's running, but we have no good way to visualize our data, so we will use rviz. Okay, now we're back at the default rviz configuration, but the Robotino folks have provided us with a way of um, of actually uh, or have pr provided us with a preformed uh, rviz file that we can use for the G mapping. So, if you go and again find your Robotino package, your Robotino ROS package, then we want to go into Robotino. Uh, Robotino map navigation, and then in the config folder, you'll see a Robotino.rviz. So let's open that. We don't want to save that. All right, we'll go full screen, and there it is. Now I think by default it doesn't actually um, it doesn't actually show this laser scan data, but I have added it to this to this file so, so so you can see not only the slam data here but you can also see you can also see the live feed lidar data so let's remove that and then I'll show you how to re-add it so this is what you'll see by default if I add a new one just go to laser scan and then it'll pop up there and right now it has no topic so what we're gonna do is just select scan as the topic it's really our only option and you can see that the dots show up really small at first, so I just change them to points. And you can leave them at three, or you can set whatever size you want. And right now, I'm going to I'll just move the Robotino around a little bit so you, can, so you can kind of see the slam in action. And as I kind of push it around, you can see that it slowly builds up a map as it goes.